Hi everyone, it's Stefan from EBC Brakes and welcome to our Tech Talks video series. So I'm here with Steve Payne today down at our Bristol Friction Factory. Steve, what are we going to be talking about? Well hi, yeah, Steve Payne, I'm a Research and Development Manager here and um, we're going to introduce the full range of automotive friction materials, starting with the standard black OE replacement pad and right through the range to full track race material. So I'm going to be asking Steve some of the most frequently asked questions about our pad compounds and he's going to be giving us the answers. So let's get into it. So welcome back to EBC Brakes' Tech Talk series. So today we're going to be looking at our orange stuff extra duty pads. Um, Steve, over to you. Well here it is. This is the orange stuff extra duty pad. It's um, very hard wearing pad, widely used in the States this one. Um, also road legal in, in Europe in some applications. And um, yeah, one of the heavier duty materials in the range. Okay, and what is this pad designed for? What kind of vehicles should you be using this pad on? It's really aimed at the, the big trucks, the big SUVs, um, particularly if you're towing, you've got a bit of weight on the back. Uh, anything where you're putting a bit more temperature into your brakes um, and where life is going to become a bit of an issue with some of the other materials or, or competitor pads possibly. Okay, and you say it's good for towing and the extra loads. So is it going to be an improvement over the OE brakes that those trucks are already fitted with? Yeah, we would expect it to be in most cases. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty hard wearing pad. So obviously, in another one of our video series, we tested these out on some pickup trucks on track. But are these, you know, are these designed for track use? It's not primarily designed for track use, but uh, because it's such a hard wearing and, and heavy duty pad, it also has a, a quite a high friction level. Um, so it does find some use on track in, in some cases. Um, it's not its main use. Its main use is, as I say, for the heavy heavy vehicles, the SUVs, the, the big Ford trucks. Uh, our, our CEO runs it on his Range Rover, loves it. Uh, so those are the sort of applications we're really looking at. Okay. And with this material, uh, how how do you prevent the material coming away from the back plate? Well, we've got a couple of methods. We've got the uh, the normal adhesive bond between the back plate and the friction material. But we also have this uh, NRS hook system, where we literally pull hooks of metal up from the backing plate, um, and then we bond the material around those hooks so it's mechanically locked onto the back plate as well as bonded to it. Right. Okay. And are these are these a noisy pad being used on those big trucks, or is no. it quite a quiet pad? It's a pretty quiet pad. I mean, you, you're never 100% noise-free on, on every vehicle you fit to, but uh, the vast majority of cases, it runs very, very quietly. Okay. Is it is it a dusty pad? No, again, uh, you know, it's a, it's a wear item, so you're going to generate a, a little bit of dust, but... Uh, what we find is that dust tends not to stick to your wheels. Um, that's really what you see in certain pads, particularly very heavily steel loaded pads. The dust will stick to the wheels, so you, it seems right. yeah. dustier than it is. Um, we tend not to get that problem. Okay. Will these work with any type of rotor, disc? Will, will they work with used discs or just new ones? Yeah, no. You can't, uh, you can't expect people to change discs and pads at the same time every time. Um, discs should be outlasting pads, so you're always going to be putting pads onto worn discs sometimes. Um, and no, these are completely compatible with any, uh, any sort of standard grey cast iron rotor from EBC or, or anybody else. And do these require any, any bedding? Or, and what is the best way to do that? Well, like, like any pad, they, they do need bedding in, particularly on a used rotor. Um, you won't have perfect contact between the two surfaces initially, uh, so you need to take it easy for the first 500 miles or so, just to allow the uh, the disc, the pad to wear into the disc and seat properly, give you full contact. Um, but beyond that, no, there's there's instructions in every box, which is uh, the best thing, and there's also some information on the website. Okay, so thank you very much, Steve, for giving us more of an overview on these pads. Um, if you'd like to find out a bit more information about these, if you just head to the link in the description, there'll be a whole page dedicated to these pads and what they're used for and, you know, where they're better than, say, an OEM pad. Uh, so next episode, we're going to be looking at our yellow stuff. That is one of our most popular compounds, and we'll see you there.